Hey everyone, hi, I'm Angela with Silver Linings, someone with gray hair, and I'm jumping on here very quickly today. It's December 10th, 2022. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Holidays and Happy Hanukkah. And I made a video, oh, about a week ago. Uh, let me share my screen with you. And you see the Hope Hair Topper here. And I did not show the topper without my natural hair peeking through. And so I had gotten um, a comment from TDJ, and she says, Respectfully, would have liked to see the wig on head initially without your hair color and styling. And I think um, TD, first of all, thank you for your comment. And I think probably what you were trying to say is you wanted to see it without me pulling out my hair or any styling, just show the topper. So that's what this video is going to be about today. I'm just going to do a very, very quick review for you on this topper with no styling, no nothing. Okay, so here we go, and I have her right here. And I was very excited when I opened up the package to see this topper because her coloring, the blending, I mean, if you had, if you had to go and pay to have this hair done and blended, it would probably cost you, without exaggeration, a thousand or thousands of dollars for all of this work. I'm just going to give her a quick comb out and then I will place her on my head. No styling, not pulling out my hair, any of that, so everybody can get an idea. You know, sometimes I forget. Um, <laughs> Remember, I'm a customer first, too, and I share my experiences with, with you. My hands. She's nicely layered. You can see she's got a lot of layers in here that are blending really, really well with the length of the wig. Just real quickly, make sure that there's no hair inside the combs. And I have worn this topper a couple of times. like it very, very much. She does have a lace front, and she has one two, three, four, five combs. So I'm going to tilt my head back and put her on right now. And I've got a couple of clips in my hair, so I'm going to pull them out. My hair is freshly washed. It does have some product in it, but so you can see what my natural hair looks like. Okay, here we go. So make sure you're combs are equidistant on either side of the middle of your head. I've, I've got that middle part kind of aimed right toward my widow's peak. Hold the top down. Now if I'm wearing this without pulling out my hair, naturally I'm going to put some it stays because if you follow me you know everything rides back on me so I always use it stays. Okay so looking for that first comb in the front. how white my hair is next to this. Okay, and then the back, the sides, and the other side. Okay, so without any styling, <laughs> see if I can comb her out for you. You could see how she's lifting on me. So if you don't want to use it stays, you're going to have to sew a little comb right there. So let's see if I can get her parted a little bit on the side. Because as you can see, on me, this is not going to look good. Just parted down the middle, straight, long. Not a good look. In my opinion, it's not a good look. Maybe for you. I do want to tell you that the combs on this topper are so comfortable you don't even feel them. I had this topper on for over eight hours and it wasn't, they weren't pulling on my hair, nothing was pinching. So the combs are very well done. Okay, so I've got her mostly 
that's how that's how she looks without any styling and of course you could see my own bio hair is is way too short to wear with this but um and 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 it is kind of thin in the back so it's not going to cover my own bio hair i'm going to do a spin for you and then after that i will part it on the side put a little clip in it and so that you can see that as well all right but see how it kind of you you really do have to somehow pull it back because otherwise it's going to be it's going to hang in your face and that's going to drive you crazy all right so let me do a spin for you so you can see she's not super lush she's low density so if you've got long hair but it's thin this would be perfect for you perfect and you like the silver gray white look okay so hopefully that gives you an idea this isn't quite a middle part but hopefully TD that gives you enough idea um, without me pulling my hair back so now I'm just gonna just give it a part a little bit off center she does have that monofilament top so you can get away with doing that but again see how she wants to fall low density but she still wants to fall okay so you can see this piece right here you really do have to pull it back. You're either going to have to take it and tuck it behind your ear. Or you're going to have to um, pull it back with some kind of a barrette. Even more. But I think Una Wiggs did a wonderful job on this. Again, if your hair is very long, which mine was up until about six weeks ago, this would have been absolutely ideal to bump up my hair because my hair is, is very thin in the back. So, so TDJ, I hope that that helps you. Um, I'm, I'm hesitant to do any styling on it <laughs> because you wanted to see it without any styling, without my hair pulled back. But you can see that you really do have to do something and of course, that's my own my own bio hair there. But if I just got that out of the way, there's how it's going to look. But in my opinion, you are going to have to do something. You're going to have to do something to get the hair so that it's not in your head. You could you could part it several different spots because it has that beautiful mono filament top. Okay, so I hope that that helps. I'll be very careful to try to remember um, to show you without styling and with styling when I'm doing my reviews in the future. Thanks so much for watching. And TD, thank you for your comment. And thank you for being respectful with your comment. They all mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for visiting, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas. And remember always to look for the silver linings because they're always there. See you next time. Bye-bye.